so we have 15 amps 250 volts okay so if the voltage exceeds 250 volt or 15 amps this fuse will blow out hi so let's see some flyback motherboards so we're going to see three different motherboards in order to understand and to master the flyback boards and its components so this is the fuse this is for protection okay as you can see here here this is a capacitor okay this is also for protection and over here as you see this is the filtering the high frequency elimination here this is the electromagnetic interference as you can see here okay this is the electromagnetic interference normally here we have two capacitor but i remove these capacitors because because i find it faded burned out so i remove it so two capacitors as i show to you in the circuit and here we have the electromagnetic interference so these two capacitors as you see and the electromagnetic interference eliminate the high frequency okay as i told you here in the circuit as you see so we have two capacitors as you see we have two capacitors and we have this electromagnetic interference so in order to avoid this high frequency and to get as you see the signal okay so and here as you see this is electric shock capacitor so this is electric shock capacitor as you can see okay this is electric shock capacitor and here also we have as you can see here the capacitor also this capacitor also is for the protection okay so here this is a ctn as i told you before okay so this as you see we have here r okay for the ctn we have here r002 the ctn the purpose of the ctn is to protect this capacitor okay because as you see here we have 15 volts 15 volts can pass through this fuse as you can see here okay as you can see here okay we have here 15 amps okay so 15 amps can pass through to the, through this fuse and go directly to this capacitor so in order to protect this capacitor we use this resistor the ctn resistor the cta resistor will not let the whole amps i mean 50 amps pass through the capacitor or for 14 or 10 amps it will organize the transfer of capa of the amps for example the first time it will pass just one amps two three four five etc okay here as you can see this is the rectifier the bridge rectifier as you can see we have here four diodes as you can see and here we have the chemical capacitor as you can see so this is the capacity of this capacitor we have here 450 we have here 100 microfarad okay and we have 450 volts so if you find that this capacitor for example when we tra you troubleshoot and you find it bad so you should replace it with another capacitor with the same characteristics okay the same thing for the all compound also the fuse if you find it bad you should replace it with another fuse with the same characteristics okay so here as you can see we have here as you see this is a transistor okay so sometimes you can find a transistor with an ic but sometimes you can find just one transistor so this is the oscillator so this transistor so generate a high frequency about 20 kilohertz okay so this as you see the generated frequency or signal will go to the transformer as you can see here we have here transformer okay 
and then from transformer as you see we have here this is diodes okay these two are short key diodes it's not a transistor this is a short key diode okay okay this is a short key diode as you can see here okay if you see here we have here d okay this is d means diode this is a short key diode okay and also we have here another short key diode okay and here we have capacitors okay and here we have a coil and there we will get here the powers 5 volt 3 volt 9 volt etc okay so as you can see here this is the same this is a card for the laptop power supply as you can see so we have here this is the input we have a line here and the neutron okay normally i find i remove this fuse because it is bad as you see we have here f1 this is fuse but i remove it because i find it a bad fuse as you see here its characteristic is two amps 250 volts as you can see okay so here as you see we have this filter with this capacitor and with this as you see with this virus so as you see we have here move okay so this is move one move also is the name for this capacitor okay so all this to filter this is for the protection for the high tension and here to eliminate the high frequencies and as you see here we have the transistor or the ic that contain the transistor so this ic generates a high frequency about 20 kilohertz or more and then this high frequency will pass to the transformer okay as you see this is the transformer and of course the transformer will generate a low voltage that will pass through this diodes so this is two short key diodes and then through this capacitor and then we have here coil and double filtering this is a filtering capacitor we have here a double filtering capacitor and here we will get our voltage okay as you can see here okay so this is ground this is 3.3 we have here 5 volt ground this is 14 volts 21 volts and 30 volts okay so here we began with 230 50 hertz and we get here this voltages okay so i want to add that here we have this this is opto isolator or opto coupler this is this is for feedback so this opto coupler contain a photodiode and a transistor okay so this opto coupler is connected directly to this ic and then connected to the output voltage so this has a purpose to control the output signal and to return the response to this ic if for example we should get here a 5 volt for example and we get more than 5 volt this opto isolator will send a value for this ic and this ic will adjust the oscillation or the frequency in order to get a 5 volt etc okay so here we have a feedback through this opti this opto isolator okay so this is the third card as you see the same principle we have here inputs okay so this is inputs 230 okay so as you see we have here power okay so this is a fuse okay this is an ion kind of fuse here as you see we have f r101 this is fuse and here as you see we have v as you see this is a varistor okay the high tension protection we have here this capacitor and we have here l so this is this two is for elimination of the high frequency as i told you before here we have the bridge rectifier as you see we have here four diodes okay so here we have two capacitor double filtering capacitor as you see this is chemical capacitor as you see here we have the ic 
okay in this board we have the ic this is ic as you see we have ic 101 this is oscillator that gives a frequency a high frequency to this transformer and of course here we have after the transformer we will get a low voltages that will be applied to these diodes this is a short key diodes and of course here we have capacitor for the filtering okay this is a rectifier diode and here we have filtering capacitor and of course we will get here our power as you see the same working principle okay so here we have about five volt okay we have two volts three volt etc so always from 130 through all these compounds and we will get this voltages as you can see here this is the optocoupler as you see so the optocoupler connects between this ic as you can see and the output stage so this optocoupler is to adjust to transfer the information to the ic and then ic will adjust the frequency and then in order to get a stable output okay